Here's what's inside and I just took the float bowl off and so there's nothing really to this thing. If you have gas leaking out it's because of this old rubber o-ring and you can just replace it or just leave it. And this is the float right here, this big thing. So you can take it out by pulling on a little uh, pin that holds it in and then pull that out. It might be kind of hard to pull out, just get some WD-40 if it is. And then if you lift this out, you see that little thing hanging? That uh, This controls um, how much fuel comes into the float bowl. So you just want to make sure this thing is clean and that it's hooked in correctly. But that won't affect it idle. So there's a way to hook it in. There's like the, there's a little notch on the end. Just make sure that this notch is going in something that looks like would take a notch. Like this thing takes a, a notch. So you put it in there. And and then okay, so then this this little needle thing goes through this hole, and basically when this float bowl falls down too far from the fuel level being too far, then it lets more fuel in. It's pretty basic. Okay, and then here's uh, your main jet, and all you have to do is make sure this thing's clean, but don't be too fierce about cleaning it because you could damage the little holes in it that atomize the fuel and make sure everything mixes really nicely. So that's about it. Uh, to put it back together, you just put this, you, put, you slide this back into the float bowl so it's like that. Ah, see it dropped out. That's only, it's making a video. Ah, whatever. It's the reverse of putting, taking it apart. Yeah. Okay, cool.